The U.S. Army displayed scientific innovation as thousands of soldiers, Army civilian employees, and defense contractors convened in Washington at AUSA October 3rd through the 5th. The Army Research Development and Engineering Command demonstrated its latest technology efforts here. Scientists and engineers from each of the command's seven research centers and laboratories gave 11 presentations at the AUSA Innovators Corner. Electronics engineer Christopher Hurley discusses dismounted soldier power. Uh, the average soldier has about 11 different battery types totaling up to 13 pounds. So when we talk soldier power, we're really trying to focus on reducing the weight burden of those batteries, reducing the amount of battery types, uh, increasing the amount of energy that they have in each of those batteries, and also introducing a uh, charging capability, whether it's a bulk charging capability or providing a fashion for the soldiers to charge their power sources while on the move. So one of the batteries that we have here is the conformal battery. It's a thin, lightweight, flexible, lithium-ion rechargeable battery that allows the soldier to eliminate many of the spares that they would typically carry to support a three-day mission. So with this battery, it will tie into a power management device and the soldiers will be able to power all of their on onboard electronics with just one battery. So it eliminates the need for all those spare batteries and all those, the various types of those spare batteries, resulting in much lighter weights uh, in terms of weight and volume for those batteries that they don't, no longer need to carry. Kendra Megat Carr, RDECOM's Technology Transfer Program Manager, talks about how the command connects with industry and academia to further Army capability. The mission of technology transfer is to bridge the gap between uh, our industry and academic partners reaching our research scientists within the labs and helping them to collaborate for the benefit of the soldier or the warfighter in addition to uh, the mission of the university or the industry partner as well. So what we want to do is break those barriers to collaborate. Um, typically a lot of folks don't understand or, or, or typically know how to get into uh, get to the particular researcher or, or get to the particular application so our offices all throughout RDE can provide um, that mechanism to engage. For the U.S. Army Research Development and Engineering Command, I'm Dan LaFontaine.